one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five. For the first time in a museum, we're able to see a major solo exhibition of the American minimalist artist Rosemary Castoro. She suffered from an invisibility that many women artists two, suffered from. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Castoro had studied graphic arts, but also had been involved in acting and dancing and had choreographed some of her own pieces. The body is always present, even in her most abstract works. She often referred to these bar formations as feet and therefore as a form of minimal dance notation. One, two, three, four. In the early 1970s, she began to make freestanding panel painting. She focused on her own identity. She said, paintings are a place where you watch yourself. They are manifestations of sexuality. And she referred to these as her containers. She said, my panels are my containers. Eight. Many of these works from the 1970s perhaps can remind us of an artist like Louise Bourgeois, but in fact, earlier works had come before other artists, so perhaps there is something that can be said about her quality of anticipation. <laughs> 